I um, have on the screen now what's been marked as exhibit number nine that you've identified as a photo of a drawer in the kitchen, correct? Correct. Is that how you observed the drawer when you documented the scene? Uh, yes. Um, and why did the drawer stick out to you as something to document in this scenario? Uh, again, we're just we're looking at knives um, in the area. It's just again, I'm not sure what to call it. Um, it's just just a, um, a a holder in the drawer that contained utensils, including knives. So, did after you documented it as you saw it walking into the kitchen, did you do anything else to further identify what was inside of that drawer? I'm, I'm sorry. Did after you photographed the drawer itself as you saw it walking into the kitchen? Did you do anything to the drawer to further identify what was inside the drawer? I mean, I don't. Re I I would have looked in the drawer and, and looked at the knives and um, just just examined them. And so, in order to look in the drawer, what do you have to do? Open it up. Okay. And do you recall if you photographed the inside of the drawer? I believe I did. Yes. May I approach the witness? You may. <laughs> Is that familiar to you? Yes, it is. And what do you know that photograph to depict? Uh, that's the inside when the drawer is fully opened. Let's see which one it is. No objection. Uh, the uh, fully open drawer photograph will be marked as Exhibit 10. And Trooper now showing you on the screen what's been marked as exhibit number 10, the drawer that you've identified um, that you opened. When you opened the drawer, did anything stick out to you inside of the drawer based on um, your response to the home on this particular night? Yes. What st stood out to you? Uh, there was the, there was some missing spots where the, uh, some of the knives would have been stored. Okay. And um, towards the rear of that drawer, it's a little hard to see. Was there something towards the rear of the drawer that caught your attention? If you need to stand up um, yes. with the court's permission. Yes, and you can also give him the actual photo if he needs to look at that because it's pretty dark on the screen. Yeah, it appears that there's a, uh, a knife that's out of place in there. And so did that drive? Objection as to out of place. All right. Can you describe what you mean by out of place? Yeah, so it appears that there's a knife. It, it's It's just kind of on top it's not in a, a set position it's not in the butcher block it, it's not on a uh, an area where the utensils are held it's just sitting on top of everything move to strike areas where utensils are held he doesn't have a basis of knowledge about how they keep their drawers your honor all right i think the jurors can uh, divine their own conclusions with regard to the picture that's before them i'll strike that last photo I, that last not the photo the last mm -hmm. testimony Trooper, when you made observation of that item at the rear of the drawer, did you do anything with that particular item to further document the item itself? I would have taken uh, just close-up uh, photos of the of the knife. Okay. Um, is there any circumstance where you would have to manipulate the item in order to get a better view of it? Uh, if I couldn't get a photograph, if I was trying to photo it, I would have to, if, if it was, you know, maybe tucked underneath there and it wasn't able to be photographed, I would have had to move it. Okay. May I approach again? Yes. Show you another photograph. Okay. And is that photograph familiar to you? Yes, it is. And what do you know that photograph to depict? Uh, that is, again, the knife moved in such a manner where I could get a good photograph of it. Uh, I believe I did, yes. I would object uh, based on what we talked about before, but now also relevance. All right. Um, I note your objection. Uh, I overrule it. The uh, photo of the close-up uh, of the item will be marked as Exhibit 11.
And just showing you again what SNAB and marked as exhibit number 11, that's, is that the knife that you moved to photograph? Correct, yes. Going back to the dining room area, did you um, do anything to identify any particular items in the dining room area that were of interest to this particular case? Yes, I did. What did you do? Uh, there was a, um, I don't recall exactly what was written on it, but there was a box of additional knives in the dining room area. And when a particular item is noted and um, chosen to kind of for the potential for further examination, do you, as a crime scene services tech, do something to mark it or identify the area? I do. What do you do? Uh, we put down what's called a placard. It's just um, basically just a piece of plastic. It has a number on it um, that's used to identify what, um, what piece of evidence that is. And in this particular circumstance, when you were at Marine Street on January 28th, um, did, was there a placard um, enumerated by placard number one? Yes, there was a placard one. And what item was um, documented at placard number one, if you recall? Uh, the placard number one was the, um, the knife on the floor there. May I approach? You may. Yes. Is that a very accurate representation of what was documented at placard number one? Yes, it is. Any objection? No, Your Honor. It'll be marked and admitted as Exhibit 12. Exhibit 12 is on my. And if I just may publish Exhibit 12 for the jury. You may. <clears throat> and Trooper, um, what was there a placard number two on scene? Yes, there was. And what item was identified at placard number two? Uh, placard number two was one of the knives in the and that I talked about that was contained in that box. And where was the box located? It was located on the uh, dining room table. May I approach the witness? You may. I get another photograph, Trooper. Is that a fair and accurate representation of what was identified at placard number two? Yes. I would object and ask to be heard at sidebar. Certainly.
The photo of placard number two is uh, admitted as marked and admitted as exhibit 13. I may publish that for the jury. You may. Thank you. Um, Trooper, when you were uh, making note of the item at exhibit number two, that knife on the dining room table, did you make any observations of the knife itself? Of that knife in particular? Yes. Yes, I did. And what did you? What observations did you make? Uh, we noted there were there was a uh, there was some sort of a substance on there. Okay. And so, as a result of noting the substance, um, that is that what made you flag it as placard number two? Yes. Now, Trooper, you've also testified that in this case, a video of the. Um, entirety of the house inside and out was was done correct and you yourself went through the entire house with um the other troopers trooper watson and sergeant bankston correct yes at this time your honor i would like to um play the crime scene video any objection to that uh, they, with the provisos that we mentioned before no and i do have um to offer as an actual exhibit the video itself, and that would be um, admitted subject to redaction. All right. So um, it will um, be admitted subject to redaction, and let me explain to the jury what redaction means. Redaction just means that there's something that's been taken out of the video, and the reason that it's taken out of the video is it's not relevant to your decision-making. Uh, and so the early remarks of the case that one of my jobs is to make sure that everything you see and hear uh, inside uh, the courtroom is relevant to your decision making. Some portion of that video was not, and it's been removed. Can everyone see the video?
Objection. <clears throat> 